wait, please wait. We know what Charlotte did to you when she took you. It wasn't your fault. You didn't deserve to be locked up. You I don't know want to that, talk about it. You? Yes, you should talk about it, because if you get it out, then it's less scary. I'm scared. Just leave me alone. No, Gabriel, please. Oh, well, you again? Don't touch what? him. All right, what's he doing here? He's packing his things. He's moving out. Oh, good. Finally, get him out of here. No, I want him here. Oh, I keep trying to reach out to him. Instead, I'm pushing him further away. Anna. It's going to take time. This guy's been through hell. What now? What? What's this? We found out more about Gabriel's past, his time at Brynwood. It's real disturbing. <laughs> I didn't think I could hate Charlotte any more than I already do, but this is monstrous. I mean, this surpasses any kind of child abuse I've ever heard of. No wonder the kid's so screwed up. Yeah, Charlotte and you destroyed him. She killed our father, his mother, mine. And it's amazing to me that he survived it all. Yeah, well, he's going to need intensive psychotherapy. Well, Alex will know a doctor. What he needs is some compassion, too, which is why I am asking you to back off. Hey, once you tell me what Gabriel's been through, it just change the whole story. Poor kid's had to endure a life of physical and emotional abuse. He's going to have to be treated in a controlled environment, a hospital. There's no telling how long that's going to take. Get in here. Sometimes, especially when you're under stress. And you've been through quite a lot. In fact, you don't look well at all. You look very pale and you're sweating. Is it cold in here? I think I just picked up a bug. I've been having the chills like that, so I'm sorry. Would you like me to call a doctor? No, no, I'll, I'll be all right. Sir, please sit down. Sir, I really think I should call a doctor. No. But this happened so suddenly. It's just the, uh, it's gotta be the floor or something like that. I'll be fine. She's gotta write it out. Right. Then I'll, I'll, I'll get you extra blankets and some aspirin. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be great. Give me some tea. Can I have some tea? On the way, sir. Just hold on. And in the morning, I'm not gonna let you. 
Come in. Hey. Hey. Hi, Jake. Ryan, how are you doing? I'm okay. Good. Good, you look a lot better. And I'm pretty sure I've said everything I need to say to you. Yeah, Ryan, listen, I know when we talked earlier, you were really exhausted. And I'm just hoping maybe you got some rest. Maybe you'll reconsider. You just don't get it, do you? How can I make this any clearer? You want to have a funeral? That's fine, but leave me out of it. I am not interested. Ryan, there are so many people who loved Jillian. It would really do them some good if they could just get together and remember her. But Jillian is not a memory. Why don't you understand that she's here? She's with me. Look, I know you want me to back off. But you won't. Well, I can't. I care about you. I know you need to heal. I really think this service would help. How? By giving me closure? God, I hate that word. You close on a house. But how can you close on what you feel inside? You can't. But you can try to ignore it. You see, that's what closure really means. So go to your service. Share all your happy memories of Jillian. And then you can start to forget about her little by little, day by day. But I can't do that because, uh... Jillian's not gone. And I know that sounds crazy. Sometimes it does to me. But I don't care and I don't want to get into it anymore. now. A package arrived, sir. It's addressed to Mrs. Lavery. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like me no. to... I'll never forgive myself, Jillian. <laughs> I wanted to pay my respects privately. Oh, God. I shouldn't be here at all, Edmund. I wonder who else is going to lose their lives because of me. 
We're working to reduce any further damage. Really? Yeah. Isn't that what we told Ryan? He said we had everything under control. <sighs> I've ruined his life. She had everything to live for. And I wonder he's not going to come to the funeral. I'm afraid. I can't explain it. But I have this feeling that this isn't over.